for a team captain, okay? When I look for a leader, I'm not looking for the loudest one. I'm not looking for the most popular one. I'm not looking for someone that, that uh, you know, tries, tries to lead by telling other people what to do. I'm a firm believer in leading by example, by, by doing everything that a coach asks you to do. And that person I mentioned earlier is Sam Collier. He's one life. No matter, you can count on him 100% to be doing what is asked without any questions at all. Whether it's setting up the wrestling mat, whether it's taking it down from doing anything, he is one that is always there and on top of things. Okay, this kid right here. I, can't, I cannot even begin to say enough about this kid. This is for most inspirational, okay? It, it is awesome just watching this kid warm up from doing everything. He's usually, when you see him warming up, he's usually doing a front somersault on the hard basketball floor, doing a handstand up against the wall. He's, he's doing just crazy things. It's like, what are you doing? But he started wrestling and he started winning, so I just said, okay, I'll let him be. Ryan Taylor. <laughs> Definitely an inspiration to me. Thank you very much, Ryan. Okay, this one is most improved. I love that kid. <laughs> most, most improved. Last year, he was, he's one of our, our, I don't know why middle schoolers get a kick out of it when I say he's one of our bigger kids. I don't know why, but they do. He, he's one of our bigger kids, one of our upper, class, our upper weights, and last year he didn't have that great of a season. But then he comes back this year, he goes and puts a kid on his back, and he pins him. I'm like, oh, that's great, that's awesome. And then the next year, then the next match, he does the exact same thing. I'm like, oh, wow, this kid has really turned around. Most improved, I want to give this to Chase Wilson. <laughs> What's that? Is that a bad joke? No, not a bad joke. He's a good guy. <laughs> And definitely, okay, um, we'll go with uh, this one first. Okay, he almost got tapped out at the district championship finals, okay? Philip Mamatov, most valuable wrestlers, come on up. Our most valuable went to Philip Mamatov because he is definitely a competitor. He's definitely a beast on that wrestling match. And he almost got tapped out at the wrestling championship finals, but just uh, something in his head just said, don't, get, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. And he stayed off his back and he competed the whole time. 11 and 0, Philip Mamatov. Okay, this kid, we already know who you are, come on up. Joe Meyer, yep. Okay, most valuable, the beginning of the season, we had, a, we had a real big lack of communication at the very beginning, beginning of the season. And this goes back way to last year with our, you know, with the, the people that sit in the office or whatnot. Okay, Joe Meyer, he went out the first match. Uh, he did everything, the whole team did everything I asked him to do. They came in, they waited in the morning, but Shehala, they love to be real stickler, sticker, sticklers about, you know, things, how things should go. Our way and sheet was supposed to be in at noon, which we didn't get it in. So I thought, I thought we were okay on our weight classes. I thought they didn't have to weigh in at right before they wrestled. So I said, okay, come in at 95 pounds in the morning, weigh in, he weighed in, and then he ate something. He was a little bit overweight for, uh, for weigh-ins that night, like half pound, it don't matter how, how much he was over. But uh, he had a chance to wrestle the kid that he beat in the district finals. And who knows how that would have turned out because that never happened, but he wrestled his heart out. He's one of, he's definitely gonna be, you're gonna see his name quite a bit in the papers and whenever. And I have one more year with him, that is awesome. Thank you. That's pretty much it. I wanna say one more thing. Uh, all your athletes or all your children did take pictures this year, it was on really short notice because because I was focused on wrestling. But uh, if you guys want pictures of your kids, 
you need to go to hightechshots.com. It's hightechshots.com. If you just Google that or whatnot, you'll find that in the uh, online, I'm sure. And he has proofs of every single one of your wrestlers. And in the center table right here, there are there are forms for sweaters. They're gonna say, let's see, Jacob or Sackerson, stand up. They're gonna look sort of like that, but on the back, right here on the back left, it's gonna say 2011 District Champions. That's awesome, isn't it? 2011 District Champions. Give yourself a hand, guys. And for those of you who want a, an article of what was put in the paper after you won that district championship, they'll be right up here. And uh, there's only like 20 copies. Coach Burns said if you guys want more that he can get you some. Can I get all the wrestlers up here, please? One final break. Getting dizzy. Get a hand up in there. Listen, focus, focus. Yes, okay, make sure you press here. Silver back, chance. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three! One, two, three! One, two, three! One, two, three! So we actually smell good. I want to thank you all for coming out. I want to say thank you one more time for allowing me to coach your kids. They are all awesome. Wrestlers, hold on. I didn't get to say much this whole time. Stop talking. Uh, first of all, uh, all you wrestlers, just nothing but a pleasure to come out there and help you guys, uh, teach you some technique, teach you uh, how to do some push-ups, because we did plenty of them this year. And uh, to all you parents, uh, it, it also takes a big sacrifice from you guys to pick them up from practice, get them to the you know, district tournament on Saturdays. Uh, just making sure they're eating healthy and not just gorging out the night before a match and going to be overweight the next day. So it also takes a lot for you guys to support the kids. Um, last year uh, I was able to you know, start volunteering at the school. My son was in seventh grade. He said, Dad, I want to wrestle. And I said, you know what, I grew up wrestling and I wrestled for the Marine Corps. I'd love to go out there and help out. Let's do it. Uh, this year, by all means, I would have been back on that mat helping those kids because it just brought, brought me back to life being on the mat with the kids, teaching them. Uh, and then Coach Burns called me and says, hey, guess what? Paid position. <laughs> I was like, you know, but you know, even if they hadn't had that paid position, I still would have been out there. I still would have been doing it as much as I can. I'll tell you what, my son's going to be a freshman next year. Guess where I'll be? Right here at Frontier, teaching you kids. We're going to be another district champions. After the district championship, I had quite a few uh, Facebook requests from you guys. I'm not going to accept any of you guys, because I, I, I don't have anyone under 18 on my Facebook. I don't even have my own family on my Facebook, okay? Now, whenever you guys want to do it, that's fine, but I'm not going to have you guys on my Facebook until later on, okay? No, I'm going to remember you guys forever. Wrestlers, make sure you clean up your stations around you, okay? I want to say thank you one more time. You guys are all awesome. Give yourself a round of applause. And, and you wrestlers who have not turned in your uniforms, you guys need to turn them into Coach Bird. Put them in a plastic bag, write your names on them, and turn them in.